Hello everybody, this is Tara Woodruff from CoachTaraWoodruff.com, otherwise known as the Helpful Entrepreneur. That was an awkward start. Um, I'm going to call this Day 23 of 90. Um, why? Because I never made a separate video yesterday. I did two hangouts and I was just... This holiday season has been kicking my bootootie, let me tell you something. So um, I just totally slacked off. That was it. So today is a new day. We are, golly, what's the date? New Year's coming up on us so quick. December 28th, super excited about the New Year, super excited about everything. I tell you though, there's a lot of transitioning going on right now. With, I see with everybody, with people all over the world. They're going through a shedding. I, I, I know it's typical for this time of year, we're supposed to leave the old behind and, you know, move on with the new, but it seems so much more prevalent this year than any other year that I've ever experienced it, to tell you the truth. Um, I, I was never so confident or willing or so in touch with my own self to really take that to the next level. You know, I'd be happy about seeing the year go away, but you know, I, 2013 was an absolutely amazing experience for me um, in so many different ways in so many different ways. It just blew my mind nonstop. And it, I learned so much value. I learned so much value. And I learned a lot about myself and where where I stand on things. You know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes people don't love themselves enough to stand their ground. They, they just don't. And I used to be like that. And after the past few years, I really I'm done. So I've made a new uh, a new thing, and it's it's not relatively new, but it's maybe new for me. Like I said, this is a new year and a new way of really looking at things. Is I am going to be sure that when my gut feels something, even the slightest bit, no matter what's invested. I'm done. Um, I watched a couple of videos by Tyrese and he was talking about that. That sometimes you don't, it's not that you have to wait for something bad to happen or wait for someone to betray you or wait for someone to, to whatever, do something that you don't agree with to let them go. You don't have to wait for emergencies to happen to make changes that are going to benefit you in your life. I was listening to a video today, um, one of the great motivationals. I had E.T. And, and Les Brown in there, and, and E.T. says, your pain is um, part of your prize. That doesn't mean you got to go out and find extra pain just so that you can feel more prized. You know, yes, it's, I, I used to have this attitude when I was very, very young. I wanted to go through really crazy experiences in order to increase my value. And that, like, I thought like that. And um, it's not necessary, guys. You don't have to go through a lot of pain to increase your value. You don't have to put yourself in situations that give you pain. So, when my advice or, or whatever you want to call it right now is that, you know, listen to your gut when it first speaks to you. Because I've discovered that when the universe reacts, it, it reacts faster to folks that do that faster. If you truly listen to your inner guidance system, things start happening for you in the world. And um, for that, I'm really grateful because I notice it all the time. And when, whenever I have a, a question, all I have to do is look inside and I have the answer. Because I've, through my life and through my experiences, I've learned many answers. Not saying that I'm not going to learn new things, not saying that philosophies don't change and you don't grow as an individual, but you don't go backwards. Don't go backwards, guys. Keep focusing on moving forward. Um, you know, if you have an experience, if you are going through some pain, if you have an experience where someone has been deceitful to you, someone has been um, just, you know, I, I don't know over and over and over and over again, the only thing that you, you can do is stop allowing it to happen anymore. You don't have to beat yourself up because you let it happen more than once. You don't have to, 
you know, what, question your, your whole ability to make decisions because you let it happen more than once. All you got to do is right now, right this second. Let go of the past, let go of the future, and be here right now and trust your gut. Trust your gut. So that's my day 23 of 90 and December 28th, 2013, moving into 214. And I'm really excited about what's coming this year. And um, I'm looking forward to having some uh, partners, you know, some people to, to explore the new year with. So if uh, you're a forward moving type of person, um, if you are able to learn lessons and follow your gut and, and be in your oneness, you know, let me know. Go ahead and uh, click the link below right below this video, and I'll be getting in touch. Love y'all. Peace.